Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Lebrat, and I have been wanting to do this writing experiment for a while and I finally did it, which is prioritizing writing outside of my apartment to see if I can get more done. And I finally did it, which is what this vlog is going to be all about. I decided that every day for a work week, so Monday through Friday, I would make an intention to leave my apartment and go outside of my apartment somewhere, either to a coffee shop, a library, etc., so on, wherever I found interesting to work on my writing. And because things close, a lot earlier than I normally do my writing. This means starting my writing in the afternoon instead of waiting until like 10 or 11 p.m. on most days. So I hope you go on to enjoy this vlog. If you do, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up. And now without further ado, let's get into this writing experiment. Happy Monday. It is 7 p.m. on Monday, November 13th, I believe. And on Mondays, I normally have my writing group, but tonight I'm just going to a different coffee shop with one of the girls in my writing group to try and get some good editing done. got a very solid hour and a half done at the coffee shop and I am like in the middle of working on a chapter and it's actually the second pass on this chapter so I'm sitting back down to finish that up before I move on to other things for this evening. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up writing more. Currently feeling good about it though and it's only 9.15 so I very well might come back to more editing after I'm done with this pass. So today being November 13th and considering that I have written 7,956 or edited 7,956 words so far this month, when to be on track for NaNo, I need to be at 21,667 words. My words needed today, aka my like new daily average moving forward in order to still hit the 50k this month is 2,336 words a day. I am like a little delusionally optimistic still. We'll see how far that gets me. But I just finished editing this chapter, which means that the word count that I've worked on so far today is 1,724 words edited and done for the day. And it's not even 10 o'clock yet. It is 9.56 p.m. I keep feeling like it's way later. Like I'm at like almost two in the morning and should be going to bed. Maybe that's because that's normally when I'm finishing up my writing. I do want to finish up a YouTube video tonight and then I would like to probably make some cookies, even though it feels early for cookies because it's not even 10 p.m. So maybe I just make food of some kind and then finish up my YouTube video, get that scheduled for tomorrow, and then maybe come back to more writing. It is now 2.04 in the morning. I am wrapping up my editing for the evening. I had a snack, I made cookies, I finished editing, and then I uploaded and scheduled that YouTube video, and then I did some more editing. So I would say that today, jump started by my writing in the coffee shop went very well. I ended up editing 2,485 words in two hours and 45 minutes today. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Um, okay, it's not morning. I've been up for a while. I've been working on stuff, but now that we are early-ish afternoon, it's time for me to head out of my apartment so that I can prioritize some writing by <laughs> giving myself some distance from my space. I think today we're just gonna go to Barnes & Noble because I kind of feel like I just don't have a lot of time, even though I do. So I don't really want to drive super far, and there's a Barnes & Noble that's like close-ish that I could go to. But while I'm getting ready, I'm going to listen to some of my character playlists that I have on Spotify. I basically have a playlist for each character of songs that remind me of that character and or things that happen in the plot of DE for that character, if that makes sense. And so I'm gonna put on some of that music as I'm getting ready, and then we're gonna head out to Barnes & Noble and I'm gonna get some writing done. Or editing. I have been using writing and editing interchangeably, but whatever, I'm gonna work on my book. I know we're on day two, but so far I've really enjoyed like making myself leave the house to do my writing, or at least start my writing. And it for, like forces me to get kind of like put together and a little cute and put on my necklaces and curl my eyelashes and everything. And I just appreciate how it feels intentional. But now we're gonna pack my computer bag and then head out. So I've got my computer, my charging cord, my headphones in case it gets loud. I'm not the kind of person that can listen to music while I'm writing unless it's like a background like ambient noise. I kind of want to be cute and bring my blue light glasses because I don't know it feels like writery or writerly. Would writerly be more proper? And then I'm gonna grab a water bottle and my banana bread that I did not eat yesterday at that coffee shop. Okay maybe the blue light glasses are too much. I'm all set, let's hit it.
So pretty obviously that was not a Barnes and Noble. On my way to BNN, I came across a public library that I had not been to yet and decided to step in there instead. Went inside, thought it was absolutely stunning and decided that I wanted to write there instead of finishing my journey to Barnes and Noble. And while I was there, I ended up finishing editing the chapter that I was working on yesterday, which was only editing about 480 more words in that chapter. And then I started on the next chapter and right now I can only edit part of it before I go back and rewrite an earlier chapter. And so I got about 803 words done on that, which means that I'm currently sitting at 1,283 words for the day. I'm hoping to get more done a little bit later. I did not end up doing any more editing after I was home, I needed to do some client work, I had a Fiverr order from somebody that I've worked with before that I needed to finish up and send back, and now it's 1.39 in the morning, so I'm gonna call it on my editing for this evening, or today, at 1,283 words, all of which were done at the library earlier today, and I believe that was in an hour and five-ish minutes. Part of why I'm going to bed is because the fire alarm is scheduled to go off for a drill at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and I am dreading that. That's the end of the story. It is 8.50 on Wednesday, and it is simply too early. The fire alarm is scheduled to go off in about 10 minutes. I went across the street for like 20 minutes to just like try and wait it out, and then I got a text from the office that said that it hadn't happened yet and that they were waiting for something, and so it will go off at some point in the next hour, and I didn't want to sit and like just, you know, get a jump scare when it eventually happened. So now I'm driving to the gym. I did think about taking my computer somewhere, but I feel like working out is a much better way to start my day out of the building than trying to force myself to write right now because I'm still like not super stoked about being awake. Had a really good workout. It is now 11.40, so I'm heading back for my therapy appointment. And I just got another text from the office that now apparently the fire alarm will be going off in the next couple minutes. It was supposed to go off three hours ago. I'm kind of wondering if I just barely missed the fire alarm going off when I was coming back from the gym because I never heard it which is a little concerning. But I was so proud of myself for getting up and getting out of my apartment and then I got really frustrated that I did that when it seems like I might not have actually had to because the fire alarm did not go off at 9 a.m. It's now 3.30, I'm heading out to do my writing and my therapist suggested that I look up vegan bakeries in Salt Lake City and I found one and they had a picture of Pana Chocolat, AKA a chocolate croissant on their website, which made me so excited and so I really hope that they have that. If not, I will just just have to go back another time. So the bakery was closing at five, so I was only there for about 45 minutes, but the chocolate croissant was incredible. I have not been able to have a chocolate croissant in the almost nine years now that I've been vegan, and this was so worth it, and I wanna take somebody who can have normal croissants to come have this one because I think it's pretty freaking close. So then of course, because I loved that chocolate croissant, I had to get an almond croissant and a carrot cake cupcake to go, but I've never had an almond croissant and so I wanted to try theirs because the chocolate one was so good. While I was sitting there, I was able to edit one short chapter. It was like 693 words, but that means that my editing for the day has been kickstarted. I tend to hang out with my friends on Wednesday nights and I ended up staying up far, 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 far too late, which then made the majority of my Thursday really like tired and lethargic. So I really didn't feel like I did a ton in the day part of my Thursday until my friend and I went to go see the new Hunger Games movie. Today is Thursday, November 16th. It is currently 11.09 p.m. I have not written yet today and I just got back from seeing The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is the new Hunger Games movie, and I really enjoyed it. The person that I went to see it with did not. But now that that's all done, Obviously nothing's open for me to like truly leave my apartment to go write at. So I'm gonna go to one of my apartment common spaces and write there instead as sort of like a technicality because it's sort, it's leaving my apartment, like my physical apartment, but it's not leaving the building. So take that with a grain of salt, but we're gonna go write for hopefully at least an hour.
happy Friday. Today is the last day of this experiment. It is currently 3.33 p.m. And I just decided which coffee shop I'm gonna go to today. It's a coffee shop that I've been to once before and apparently they also sell crepes and have a vegan crepe batter. So I think that that sounds like a pretty solid decision for my writing location today. I was at the coffee shop for about two and a half hours. The banana and chocolate ganache vegan crepe that I got was so freaking good. Like the chocolate croissant I got earlier this week, I also have not had a crepe since I went vegan almost nine years ago. So the little writing treats that I've gotten to have this week have been absolutely delicious. I was also able to finish the first uh, read and edit of this chapter that I was working on. And I believe it's the same chapter I was working on at least yesterday, maybe the day before too. But I think I looked over like almost 3,000 words and I would like to reread those again later tonight in a second pass just to make sure that I'm happy with the changes that I've made but I freaking love how this chapter ends like I got chills sitting at the coffee shop. There was something about that chocolate and banana crepe because my Friday word count was the best word count of the week in the total dedicated editing time which I was probably at the coffee shop for about just under three hours I think. I spent a really solid hour and a half of that editing and in that hour and a half I I was able to edit 3,560 words. Yes, I do think that this was a little bit easier of a chapter to be going over, but the words count regardless. So we're gonna recap all of the word counts that I got each day, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the total word count I edited. So on Monday, I edited 2,485 words in two hours and 45 minutes. On Tuesday, I edited 1,283 words in an hour and five minutes. On Wednesday, I edited 1,125 words in 55 minutes. On Thursday, I got 1,050 words in 35 minutes. And then of course, on Friday, I got 3,560 words in an hour and a half half, which means total over this work week, which included writing out of my apartment and then also later in the evening coming back to my apartment and writing a little bit more some of those days, meant that I edited 9,503 words in a total of six hours and 50 minutes, which is a number that I feel incredibly good about, both the time spent and the words that were actually edited. I feel like almost 10,000 words in five days is incredibly significant. I also don't write outside of my apartment very often so it was really fun to prioritize trying new places and not returning to any of the places that I had already been within this week. And I had never written at any of those five locations before, but I know that I will definitely be going back to three of them. The library, the bakery, and the crepe shop were such fun finds. I was totally not expecting the library. I had written at the Barnes & Noble that I was heading to before anyways. And then I realized that there was a library right next to it, and it doesn't look like much from the outside, but then when I went inside, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, this is where I'm writing today. And then getting to go to a bakery was like so much fun to have like a vegan chocolate croissant because I haven't had a really, really good croissant since I went vegan a long time ago. And then same thing with like getting a tea and a crepe. Like it was just like a really lovely week. It felt really intentional to leave my apartment with my computer with the sole purpose of writing. So I really enjoyed this experiment and I think I will definitely be implementing a couple of these locations and probably some new locations in the coming weeks and months of working on my book. So thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna know your favorite place to write. Leave that down in the comments below. If you have not already Already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that somebody else might too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Labrat and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!